Okay, what kind of comedic intro you got for us this week? Absolutely not. It's just an LCS playoff series. It's not that big of a... This is serious business. A chance to even the series. Lifetime. It's not something I mess around with. Okay, you're kind of starting to freak me. I said I'm not messing around. It is time to lock in. I know, I'm sorry. I know. Come here. Luna. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to The Rendezvous, your place for all things 100 Thieves, LCS, and around the org, and I'm not going to beat around the bush today. We've got the most important playoff series that we will have so far this year, and most importantly, it is against our bitter rival. First, we have to touch on the week that was. I've had an individual video covering this Cloud9 series, of which we got our butts handed to us. Nobody really looked good that entire series from our side. Quid probably played the best out of anybody and even then he wasn't able to pull the weight of really anything around there. River was sick. Ayla started getting sick during that series so we were not at full force. We didn't get to practice fully and I'm not even just going to waste time on it. I've already talked about it. There's no point. For the NRG series, honestly going into it I was just saying survive. Get through this series. Survive. Give us a full week's worth of practice. Like actually let us like fully just be ready to go for whoever we would play this upcoming week and just battle it out. And that's exactly what happened. We got Penna killed and Quadra killed by Smolder in game one versus NRG. FBI was on point, but luckily we were able to turn that series around. Quid was having a stellar series the entire time, even in the game one loss. I think it was like 8-0. At one point, he was just playing out of his mind. River, you could tell, was feeling better, was starting to get back on form. Even though it did go to a full five games, it was a nice sign. It was a good way to test our resiliency, because believe it or not, like a series like this going to five games is going to be more beneficial for us than literally anybody else. For NRG, it's like, come on, you've been in this situation. You know, Playoff experience, while it can help you bond, it's not going to make that tangible of a difference. For us, every single game that we play on stage in playoffs makes a difference and to go to five here and be able to pull it out in the way that we did where yeah we fumbled a little bit early in game five but we rebounded and we decisively closed out that game even though our baron setup is still not great and hopefully something that we work on i'm happy with it i actually got the chance to talk to ayla after that series was done and here's his thoughts on that week and also the matchup upcoming good what about you i mean Pretty freaking fantastic. I learned the, the heart attack that was that final game for a bit there. Uh, Could have went my life without that amount of stress, but at the same time, I wouldn't change it for anything. Yeah, it was a bang on. Heard you're a little under the weather right now. Uh, Yeah, I've been sick for the past few days. Damn, so it's, just, uh, it's going through the entire team at this point then. Yeah, Riff got it first. And like maybe one or two days later, I got it as well, so... Well, I mean, luckily you guys get a week now to at least, well, not a week to relax. You get like a day to relax and then obviously scrims will How Hopefully the sickness will be gone by then. Yeah. How were scrims this past week? Like we heard the conversation of like riveting it to play some of it, like quality wise though, do you feel like you still got decent enough practice to be like fully where you wanted to be ready for this week? Um, I mean... Let's see. Practice. We had to use a sub for I think one day between no before the C9 game. Yeah, I think before the C9 game we had to use the sub, and then we had like two one day of scrims bef between the C9 and Energy series. So scrims have been okay. Wouldn't wouldn't say like we figured everything out and like we're feeling really good and like everything's all solved. But they've been okay considering our circumstances. Better than the 17 game loss streak, I'm assuming. Yeah, better. Okay, good. Uh, walk me through bot lane that series because it seemed like, for the most part, throughout the games, even in the map, apologies for my dogs going ballistic in the background. It, of course, the best time possible. Uh, even in the, the Vars Milio game, where you would assume that you guys would have a little bit more pressure, for the most part, you guys went even at best. What was the bot lane matchup like this entire series? Um, I don't think either of us were playing that well in lane. Like when we had the center game, the first game, we should have gotten 
a much bigger lead or like more souls on center at least. And we failed to do that. <clears throat> but I'd say I don't think either side played insanely well. Like especially with Vast Melee as well. We should have gotten a bigger lead. Should have gotten maybe like 10, 20 CS lead and a few plates. But uh we traded poorly, so kinda just went even CS and then just based. But yeah, I don't think don't think laning phase was a big part of the series. Yeah. Like both sides like either got pushed or didn't get pushed and like there would be no like significant lead that came out of laning phase, so it came mostly to team fights. Speaking of team fights, game four, you guys have a pretty significant lead. Then things just kind of go haywire as things kind of stall out uh, in the later portions of mid game as you, it gets towards late. You end up losing the game. Walk me through what comms were like during the later portions of that of game four, and then how you reset going into game five. Uh, um, everyone was loud throughout the whole series, so I don't know. We just played the game and we're just talking about we need what we needed to do. We died a few times, or we got I think we got bound stolen twice or something. Otherwise, we probably would have closed out that game. But I think everyone was pretty hyped, but focus. We talked a bunch, and then I think during the Baron snipes one or two TP and like backdoor when. Nico TP'd away to fight the Baron. And like it was a big hectic. We went like all on the same page. Cause like I think at that moment we just handshake that 5v5 and just fight them and win the fight. So definitely it wasn't like clean. But it wasn't like too different from any other game. So I don't know. We weren't too worried. We were like feeling confident after the game that even though we threw the lead, we had control for most of it and I think everyone just had full confidence that we were going to win anyway. Good to hear. Uh, now, going into next week, you play the winner of Team Liquid or Dignitas. Who you think takes the, the series and do you have a preference on who you would play? Not in terms of like who you know you can beat, but like is there somebody that you like rivalry-wise want to play against? So I think Till looks pretty good against FlyQuest. It was like almost, they, I think they probably should have won, but it was a five game banger. They pushed them really hard. And I'd assume if they show the same performance, they'd win. And I'm down to this both. I think Till would be the harder opponent, but it would be fun because I know a lot of the players there. And yeah, I mean, if we verse Dig, then it'll be easier for us, hopefully. So I'm happy to verse both. In the event that you play Team Liquid, APA is known for his all chat. It was the talk of the series yesterday. Are you going to keep all chat on? And if so, like, are you ready? Like, does all chat at the end of the day make any difference mentally? Like, people were kind of talking it, talking it out to be yesterday. Um, all chat definitely makes a difference. I feel like with APA, it's like he's the type of person who has to all chat or like. I feel like he'd be really insecure if he didn't. But I mean, I'm the opposite. I, I basically never talk in all chat. I kind of ignore it. So I don't know if he gets annoying, I'll mute him. But I kind of just, I kind of just play and I don't really pay attention to it. Good to know. Any yeah. any final words you got for hundred Thieves fans? Any of your fans out there? Uh, after what was a very up and down weekend, and now heading into the chance to play at finals weekend. Yeah, I mean. I'd just say the C9 series from us, I think we were very nervous. River was sick. Even I wasn't feeling the best at the time. And that was like a, not a good showing from us. So I think we've gotten over our nerves. We played a lot better today in the series against NRG. And we'll keep doing that. So look forward to it. Get some chicken noodle soup, man. Get some rice. Chicken and, noodle uh, soup. Oh, yeah. Chicken noodle soup. Good uh, gr grilled cheese sandwich with it. Life will be good. Yeah, I might, I might try it out. There you go. Have a great afternoon, man. Thank you so much. You too. Thank you. So let's set the stage for Team Liquid. 2018, the first year that we are in the LCS, Team Liquid obviously begins their super uh, dynasty team era and goes 2-0 against us in series. Overall map record, 1-6. Not great for us. We don't play again until 2021, where 100 Thieves notably plays Team Liquid twice in the summer playoffs, not a single time 
in the spring playoffs of which we go one and one but we win the important one which was the grand finals to win our lcs title ironically in the lcs arena where it's at this year five and three record there still not overall positive record against team liquid 2022 we even the score two best of fives against team liquid both wins both five game series of which we were able to clutch it out but three and three overall record last year we faced team liquid once in summer when we go in as the losers bracket and we got crushed 3-1 the only game that we won was notably like double lift getting a, i think it was like three or four kills off of a level one or something like that on kaisa and he just fed and took over the game but other than that we got our asses handed to us pretty bad so overall series count against team liquid in playoffs three to four in favor of team liquid map count is 13 to 16 so even if we 3-0 here we can even up the series and even up the uh, score line but we can't uh, pass them on this one. It's just so damn funny to me. Like, separate from the players, I'll get into that in a second. We got made fun of for so long for being a hoodie org and being just the content org, but that's the exact thing that Team Liquid's trying to do as well to build a fan base. Like, how are you going to ridicule us and take our exact same freaking playbook and try and do it better it's it's amazing i guess it's just like they say you know imitation is the kindest form of flattery regardless this series is going to be a banger apa and yon were on pros yesterday notably talking about all chat as apa tends to run his mouth and i'm not sure how quid or any of the players on our team are going to do in terms of muting him in game inspired i think had a pretty good statement where it's like you shouldn't mute him if you mute him you're admitting kind of mental weakness and you should be able to use that as fuel but i guess if it truly is going to make that big of a difference then you shut him up but he didn't talk at all in the dig series but he is going to talk against us he believes this is going to be a closer series than cloud nine and closer than some people might think but we got to be weary i'm looking at this bot lane specifically yawn and core jj best duo in the league bar none berserker and vulcan have found their footing obviously they handled us pretty well but i'm not willing to give them that throne yet they had one time against us and no tl has proven in both series where they nearly upset FlyQuest, and then they absolutely smashed dignitas that yawn is the best performing adc in our region right now without question now has he fumbled in big moments before sure yeah and we might be able to take advantage of that but you got to respect him apa i know everybody wants to write him off sure go ahead at your own peril i'm not Dude looks good. He looks clean, especially whenever he's not typing. But if he is typing, you know, he's playing that mental warfare edge. I know some people are like, oh, if, even if you're not the best player on the team, why are you talking? It's like, because he's getting in everybody's heads, including the fans. So don't let him get in yours. Ignore any shit that he says over the course of this series. If anything, chirp him back. Get in his head. It's going to take a lot to beat him at his own game, but hmm, <laughs> we could. Top lane, impact is a rock always has been always will be in playoffs a playoff impact is known to be that for a reason snipers i can promise you snipers not going to get solo kills on him this series i respect impact too much of a player and i've seen him turn it on in these moments way too often for me to believe that sniper is going to be able to do what he could especially given that sniper has not looked quite as good as he did in the regular season over this past two series so if sniper can at least hold his own against impact i think that's a win no matter what jungle as long as River's healthy, I take River over Umpsy every day. Full week's worth of practice, and all should be fine there. But that mid lane matchup, this is the, you realize this is the only returning matchup from the last time that we played Team Liquid, right? Quid was there in summer, obviously with the double lift roster, and APA was there as well. And APA and Team Liquid were able to put us down pretty handedly. So for Quid, like even though you won the regular season games, this is your vengeance series. This is your chance to get revenge for what happened last year. This series was part of the reason why people wanted quid dropped in the first place why they did not want him coming back and it's safe to say quid has made a statement this entire split and it's time to put an exclamation mark on that damn point against the apa i love apa i do i don't want to see him get nearly the amount of flame that people have been giving over the last few weeks but for this series i need apa to put him in a body bag of note our series is going to be on friday at 4 p.m in all historical years the match has been sunday i'm assuming they moved it because of vct madrid finals and now we go on friday as well which kind of helps us because team liquid only has four days to prepare where we had five we got to literally watch their series which i'm not sure how much there's I'm not sure how much you can take away from that but i mean a day's worth of rest is a day's worth of rest especially when our team is sick like it helps us a lot and under the normal situation team liquid would have six days to prep and now they only have four look i talk a big game but at the end of the day like this is right around where i predicted 100 thieves and team liquid at the beginning of the year and this is going to be like the litmus test to see like okay how much more like where are we at in terms of our progression towards summer it was clear from whenever i talked to golden glue and everybody else like summer was the goal here and i don't think if we end up finishing fourth and we lose to team liquid and hopefully a honorable 
way, like in that hypothetical world, that it's a negative split. In fact, I'd say this is incredibly positive and right on pace with where I was hoping we would be in terms of like higher end prediction. But dude, we have a chance. We have a real chance here. And that's something to believe in it. It's amazing. Like this team, I'm not going to get ahead of myself and predict anything else. It's just this matchup against Team Liquid. I just feel like we we pair up well against them and it's all going to come down the to top lane. Like I think ev I think everybody else is going to perform at expectation, but like Sniper is the one that has to deal with like the biggest difference between regular season and playoffs and impact. If he can keep up with him, we're cooking with gas and we stand a chance. Normally I do a round the org before I go into the series preview, but I just wanted to save this for the end. I watched uh, Wool's video, who's one of the newest creators uh, to join 100 Thieves. And he kind of like gave the timeline of how long it took to like sign him to 100 Thieves, the process of getting like the photo shoots and everything else. And then everything being released over the last month. Really incredible video. You should really go check it out if you want. If you're like a 100 Thieves fan or like somebody like me that, you know, it aspires to eventually join the org. If you're not nearly in tears by the end of that video, then I don't know what to tell you. Like that, oh, the phone calls that he had with his mom and dad just hit so hard. And you just sit there like, maybe one day, maybe one day we can make that happen. Anyways, that's it for this week of the rendezvous. I know I'm more serious than I normally am. Normally I'm a little bit more lighthearted and jovial and like happy and like energetic, but like I'm, I'm locked in. Like I'm dead serious when I say I am like so tunneled in and focused on Friday that like, I, I cannot think about anything else right now. It's actually absurd. I'm not going to be able to eat on Friday morning at all. <laughs> like, I mean, I'm, I'm going to. I'm going to force myself to, but oh, man, it's going to be tough. Anyways, catch you all in the next video. Hopefully it's a dub, but we'll see. Adios.